Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be creating a beautiful glam clock. First, I'll be reminding you on how I recreate the mirrored rocks. I use these rocks from Dollar Tree and I spray paint them silver. And I usually add a bunch of glitter and shit, but today I'm gonna show you why I didn't at first. But I'm just showing you an example of how I spread my glitter on the rocks, usually. And I'll be starting off with these eight four by six frames from the Dollar Tree, and I'll be taking the glass and the back off of each frame. I'll then be spray painting the glasses silver, and I'm going to cover them with glitter. And here is why I chose not to put as much glitter in the bag and that is because I'm gonna be pouring glitter on top of this glass frame and it's gonna be falling down anyway, so I wanted to save glitter, if you know what I mean. And I'm gonna be covering all of the eight glasses with the Mod Podge and the glitter. After all eight has dried, I'm going to reinsert the glasses inside the frames. After all eight frames are done, I am going to move on to my clock. I got this clock from, <laughs> I got it from my local dollar store and y'all, this clock played me, okay? This clock played me. I'm gonna tell y'all what happened at the end, okay? I'm gonna let y'all enjoy this DIY, but I'm gonna let y'all know what happened. So I spray painted the clock, as you can see, and I'm just removing the mask tape and I'm also going to be using the box that the clock came in for this project. So in order for me to glue the clock down, I'm going to cut a circle in the middle so that I can insert the batteries and change the time. And I'm just checking to see how it looks in the back. Perfect, it's open, I'm able to get to it. And I just covered the whole piece of cardboard with glitter using my Mod Podge. And I put some towels, some mirror towels around the perimeter, just to bling it up a little bit. Excuse my clock, I had a boo-boo. Um, some things happened, I had to take the clock back out, but <laughs> it's not gonna show, so I'm not really worried about it. Next, I'm going to take these four canvases that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to spray paint them silver. And after that, I'm going to add my mirror tile around the perimeter. Going in with my Mod Podge and I'm going to just put a coat I found it very easy um, applying the rocks inside of this bag you can always use a container I've done that before but at this time I decided to try a bag and it's pretty dope Next, I am taking this foam board and I am drawing a circle in the middle of the board so that I can glue the clock on the foam board. And I'm just putting some Gorilla Glue around the circle so that I'm able to glue my clock down. Now that my clock is centered, 
I am going to take my canvases and I'm going to put one on each side of the clock. And now I'm going to take my frames and I'm going to glue them on each side of the canvas. Now the last four frames won't fit evenly, so I'm just going to tilt it a little bit and one side will be slightly overlapping the other. And I was tweaking like why did I put Gorilla Glue all over the frame when half of the frame is sticking off of the foam board. We all have our moments, right? Not just me. Okay, cool. Lastly, I'm just going to take this blade and I'm going to cut off the excess foam on each side of this clock and after we're done with this we are in business this came out beautiful okay now I'm going to tell y'all what happened so I got this clock from my local dollar store right and I'm thinking I can trust them you know but anyways I turned this beautiful glam clock around to add the battery and the clock doesn't even work. Like what the heck. So what I'm going to do is just go get another clock, pull this clock out and insert that clock in, you know. It is what it is. It's still beautiful. <laughs> and this part is just me adding a wedge under the frame that was tilted so that there's no space in between. I am so in love with this non-working clock. It is so beautiful. I can't wait to add a clock that actually works. But thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And make sure you all stay safe out there, you and your families. And I'll see you on the next DIY.